Welcome back, folks, to WWE Network and Chill, where I, Graham G.S. and Matthews, review all the original programming that I watch on the WWE Network. And for the next number of episodes, we will be talking about Legends House as seen on the WWE Network. Today, we're talking Season 1, Episode 3, Striking Out. So Ashley comes by the house to tell the Legends that they're going bowling. They're going up against a team of elderly women called the Bowling Queens or the Desert Queens, whatever. Uh, the boys think they have an easy game. They have an easy game ahead of them at facing women, but... They surely underestimate their competition, to say the least. Uh, they swipe them. They absolutely sweep the legends from the get-go. Mean Gene. Um, I is one of them, being the horny old guy that he is, always eyeing the women. And uh, he bowls slower than anyone else early on. He has a very slow game. Everyone gives him shit for it. No one bowls well, for the most part, for the guys. Finkel gets a number of gutter balls. No one plays well. Uh, many of the queens, many of the women get a bunch of strikes. They crush the legends. And then Piper balls the strike, and then uh, not Hacksaw, but a Hillbilly Jim says, got to get fired up, we got to take it to the girls. They start getting motivated. Jimmy Hart gets a strike. They get really, really good, but it was too little, too late. It was 7.36 for the guys and 8.76 for the girls, so the girls take home the victory. <clears throat> the Legends did earn a small consolation prize, but a small trophy, um, which was pretty demeaning for the men, <laughs> but... Still a fun game and a good showing from the guys, the legends. And then Ashley comes by again, says, and informs the guys of another of another battle, another competition, a promo battle of sorts. It was basically who could have the best commercial, who could have the best advertisement. And the teams consisted of, it was Team Piper versus Team Mean Gene. Team Piper, and they could pick their own teams. It was Piper, Hacksaw, Jim Duggan, uh, Finkel, and Tony Atlas. And then Mean Gene's team was him, Pat Patterson, Jimmy Hart, and Hillbilly Jim. So Tony, from the get-go, wants to be on the camera for his team. And then Piper says, Can, do you know how to work a camera? And then Tony Atlas says no, <laughs> which was funny. Uh, so Team Mean Gene, they go to the auto spa, which is basically a, a car wash. But the guy who works there says that it's an auto spa, so they do everything for the car or whatever. Uh, Patterson says that there's too many cooks in the kitchen, it's going to ruin the soup. Basically saying that if you have four guys in one team, everyone wants to pitch in, pitch in an idea. There's got to be one boss because you got to have the ideas get greenlit, if you know what I mean. So uh, that causes a lot of tension in both teams. More so uh, Patterson's team at one point than even Piper's team. Tony Atlas is flying off the handle. Jimmy Hart's a pain in the ass. Everyone has their own combustible elements here on, on each team. So Team Piper, while Team Mean Gene goes to the auto spa, the car wash, whatever, to do that, uh, Team Piper has to sell flamingos and rubber ducks. So it's pretty obvious from the get-go which team has the disadvantage here. Uh, Tony feels like a kid again. He loves rubber ducks. He loves flamingos. He His face lights up when he sees the rubber ducks, so he's loving it. Um, Jimmy Hart is said to be more of a problem than a contributor. He's a huge pain in the ass. He gets, Pat Patterson gets soaked in the car wash by accident, and he blames it on Jimmy Hart, because he's an automatic pain in the ass, he thinks he was the one that pressed the button, they watch back the footage, it wasn't Jimmy Hart, it was one of the managers, uh, John, who pressed it by accident, so, they they make up, not really, but that kind of puts that tension aside, on Team Piper, the, the tension stems from Tony, who they don't want to work with, Tony does not like the fact that his you know, ideas aren't being heard. He was the last one picked for his team anyway. The last one picked in general. So he wasn't really too happy with that. Piper says, it's probably going to be a good commercial commercial to watch on acid, which was pretty funny. <laughs> so Tony, in the process of uh, the editing that goes in afterwards, he walks out. He says, fuck you. And he didn't say, fuck you. We do get a couple F-bombs from Mean Gene over the course of the show. In, in the season, not this specific show. But we do get an F-bomb at the end, which I'll share at the end, which was hilarious. But yeah, Tony just walks out. Feels his advice is not being heard, so he literally just leaves, uh, leaving Finkel, Hacksaw, and Piper to do the editing for themselves. So Piper goes back to Tony, asks him to rejoin. Piper's, or, uh, Tony says no, that he's done, and that's it. That's the end of that. So Tony is out of the editing process. Uh, Rhett and Link from Commercial Kings serve as judges. I know I've seen them before. Um, I, they must have. I know they serve as some popular. They're popular on YouTube, I know. But I guess they have their own show or something called Commercial Kings, or at least they did at this point. That was four years ago, four and a half years ago. I don't know if they still do. But I do know they're popular on YouTube even now, though, if I'm, if I'm pretty sure. I know I, I recognize them from somewhere. So they like from the car commercial. They like, they, they like the expletives. 
from uh, Pat Patterson. They show, they include the footage of Pat Patterson getting soaked and going off in Jimmy Hart. They include that in the final commercial. I was a bit bummed they didn't include the line that where Jimmy had, when Jimmy Hart said, as the final sell, that they give the best hand jobs in town <laughs> at the car wash. I thought that was such a great line, uh, but they opted to cut it out for whatever reason. You can hear the line in the episode earlier on when they're filming. It just did not make the final cut of the commercial, which was a bit disappointing and probably why they didn't win. Spoiler alert. So anyway, Roddy's commercial, which is absolutely awful. I enjoyed it, but it was pretty bad. It's so bad, it's good. So they end up winning um, because of that. And then Mean Gene, scream, and mean Gene screams at Rhett, Tit- Rhett Titus. Uh, Rhett, I'm thinking from Ring of Honor, Rhett and Link. He says, you'll never work in this town again, you losers, which was pretty great. Mean Gene has the best one-liners of anybody on this entire show. Uh, we got a lot of great one-liners in the next episode, which I'll talk about in the subsequent episode of WWE Network and Chill. But uh, then, then he goes, well, you know what? I'll close with that. I'll close with that. Now, I might as well say now, and we'll talk about what happens next. So Mean Gene goes, I certainly hope I didn't hurt anyone's feelings. If I did, fuck them. <laughs> so that was great. So anyway, um, so Team Piper, since they won, everyone's going to Las Vegas for a special surprise, which we'll talk about in the next episode. Um, but Team Piper gets to ride in a stretch limo, and then Team Mean Gene gets to ride in a 15-man bus, or a van, rather. Even worse, a van. So they're not too happy about that. They get pulled over on the way there. That's kind of the cliffhanger going into Episode 4, so we'll talk about what the deal that was in the next episode of WWE Network and Show. So that being said, guys, of course, the next episode will be covering Season 4, or Season 1, rather. I wish there were four seasons of this show. Season 1, Episode 4 <clears throat> of Legends House, right here on WWE Network and Chill in the next episode. But in the meantime, and in between time, you guys can follow me on the Twitter machine at WrestleRant. Find me on Facebook at facebook.com backslash graham.gsm.matthews. And be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. All your support is amazingly appreciated. Be well, guys, and I'll catch you folks down the road.